Another tool that the Federal Reserve could use to implement its monetary policy is reserve requirements. Required reserves are the funds that banks or other financial institutions must have on hand as cash in their vaults or on deposit in their accounts at the Federal Reserve. They can't lend out these funds. Adjusting reserve requirements could be used to affect the money supply and interest rates. Suppose the reserve requirement is 10%. That means banks are allowed to lend 90% of their deposits. Now, if the Fed lowers the reserve requirement to 7%, the banks can lend out more money. This would very likely increase the money supply and lower interest rates. The opposite is true too. Raising reserve requirements would likely lead to a decreased money supply and higher interest rates. We, you know, set those requirements if we were to change them and allow the banks not to have as much on reserve, right, that they would have more available to lend. Um, and vice versa, right, if we, change, if we increase the reserve requirement, they'd have less, and that can change sort of the credit availability in the economy. However, it's a very, we don't use it actively as a monetary policy tool. It's a very coarse tool, um, and it hasn't been an active tool of policy.